Hello everyone, this is Sheila, and in this video, we are learning how to water succulents the right way. About 93% of succulent deaths is due to overwatering. So watch until the end of this video to keep those succulents alive and healthy. In this video, we will learn when it is time to water and how to water succulents the right way. There are also some very important tricks on how to water succulents in pots without drainage holes. So tip number one is that your succulents does not like to be watered very often. In fact, it's about once a week in the summer and hardly any in the winter, or probably about only once or twice in the entire winter months, especially if you live in an area where it doesn't snow, like here in Brentwood, California. And if you have snow in the winter and you have to bring them indoors, once every two or three weeks is fine, depending on how high you set your thermostat and how strong your grow lights are. Tip number two, when you see some leaves drying up from the base, but the middle part is plump and not wrinkled, then that is not because they lack water. They just need to get rid of some of their leaves so that they can push forth roots and pups. If you are in doubt whether they need water or not, postpone watering for about three to five days more. One tool that helps a lot is the moisture meter. It's time to water them only about five days after the moisture meter reads one or dry everywhere in the pot. Let me show you how my moisture meter works. A good amount of watering is when the moisture meter reads about eight to 10. If you think this moisture meter helps, especially for beginners, do hit the like button. Another way is to feel the soil in the pot, but you have to feel deep, which is not always an option. Here's tip number three on how to water your succulents. Although misting is a great way to water your succulent leaf propagation, since it is so convenient, do consider this. If you would mist your propagation with hard water, Real soon, you will see white hard water deposits on their leaves. Once you start seeing leaves sprouting on your leaf propagation, you want them to be perfect and without a spot. So you might want to start using a syringe to avoid watering the tiny succulent leaves and direct water to the roots. This is also true for your grown succulents, which leads me to tip number four which is to avoid the leaves when watering your grown succulents. Watering the leaves directly could leave water stains. You may not be able to completely avoid it, but I suggest that you try your best if you want your beauties to be perfect. Because if you would continuously water in this way, you would soon start seeing this, this, and this. I would use a garden hose and set it to the weakest drip, or a syringe for small containers. I also use a watering can, especially when it's time for their plant food. Later in this video, I will also discuss how the size of your pot plays a huge role in your watering schedule. So for now, while I'm watering these succulents, as always today, my message to you is that you can be a thermometer or a thermostat. So you can be a thermometer and just react to whatever life brings you or you can be a thermostat and change the temperature of your environment so you can be proactive and change your reality and create a life for yourself or you can be reacting to whatever life brings you you have the ability to create the life that you want so be proactive go for it create the life that you want for yourself change your temperature be a thermostat. Okay, we're back. So tip number five, when it's time to water them, give them a good amount of soaking as long as their pot has drainage holes on them. They are properly soaked if the moisture meter reads about six to 10. I totally love my moisture meter, especially when I was just starting because I was too scared to overwater at first that my succulents were looking so dry and they couldn't stand the heat. I thought misting was enough water for them. It turned out that when it's time to water these succulents, getting them soaked is the way to go. Again, just make sure that there are drainage holes. 
I have a separate tip for watering succulent pots without drainage holes in a bit. Tip number six on how to water your succulents is to use rainwater. Rainwater does not have the harmful chemicals that make water hard like calcium and magnesium. And this leads me to tip number seven which is you can use pots and containers without drainage holes but you have to use a bit of imagination to water your succulents with this because of gravity water goes down to the bottom of the pot here is my miniature succulent greenhouse to show you how water goes down you have to make a guess as to how much water will go down and how much will evaporate what you don't want to happen is that all the water that you're putting in the container will stay too long at the base that will cause root rot. Tip number eight, be mindful of the weather. This one I learned the hard way in the middle of last winter. I have been growing succulents in these containers until I've put them out so that they can get some rain. And sure enough, they got some rain. I assumed that it will not rain through the night, but it did. And they got so drenched and the glass jar got so full. I had to repot them in dry soil immediately or else they would die. So since rain is the best water for them, please make sure that they have drainage holes or don't even take those pots without drainage holes out in the rain. And tip number nine is how to water your succulent wreath arrangement. We would just put water in this wreath keeper and put about 10 spreads of this succulent plant food and soak this succulent wreath for about three to four hours and let it drip after. I have the links of the materials that I use in all of my videos in the description down below in case you wanna check them out. And that includes this moisture meter. Tip number 10, I suggest that you use a succulent plant food of your choice and use it every other watering to keep your succulents happy and healthy. And here's the bonus tip, which I think is so important in keeping your succulents alive. We need to take note that shallower and smaller pots dry faster than bigger and deeper pots, which means you will have to postpone watering for some of them. If you would look here, our moisture meter still reads 2. A reading of 2 means that there is still moisture in this pot. And look, this middle part even reads about 3. This means we still need to wait about 3 to 5 days more before watering. But this little pot here is already dry. So bottom line is that you will really have to be mindful not to water everyone within the same date. And before I go, I would like to remind you again that you can create your own reality by being proactive. So change the temperature of your environment. Be a thermostat. Be proactive. Change your life. Create the life that you want. And with enough will and action, you can do it. Thank you, this is Sheila again, your person on a mission for succulent fame. Sending inspirations your way with every succulent. Remember to subscribe and share this video.